Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the Lindon Gyration Escalations. This is level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. My name is Mr. Freeze, 2244. For level 1, we're going to bring along our remote explosive duck, which is going to be the red one. And we're going to bring along our coin and ICA 19. And we're going to wear any suit you want to choose from. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, from the get go, all we need to do is go straight over to where the target is. Level 1 is very, very easy. But the target is actually the private investigator that's in the main mission of Sapienza. His name's Sal Falcone. So he will be the private eye that will be uh, meeting up with um, Francesca De, uh, De Santo. So uh, what we need to do is just come over to this area here. And uh, what we need to essentially do is just drop the, uh, the rubber duck right next to the scooter if you want to. I chose to throw it against that bike there just to, just in case the duck actually killed him. But... Uh, once you've done that, it will kill him for an accident kill, and then you can exit the mission, and that will end uh, level 1. That will clear level 1 for some assassin. It's very, very easy for the first one, but it does get progressively harder, and I'll go into that a little bit more uh, when we get to level 4. Uh, from level 4 and 5, um, it won't be a walkthrough from then on. It'll be purely a guide because of all the randomness that will go on, and I will explain that a little bit further as we progress. But for now, for that will be level 1, and that will complete your Sonic Assassin for level 1. So for level 2, what you need to do is bring along your ICA remote explosive and your remote explosive rubber duck, which is the red one. So that's the ICA silver ball, I'm going to bring that along with us, and you can choose any suit you want to choose from, because we have to take out uh, both targets we're in a suit. So, just like they did in the previous uh, level, we're going to go ahead and take out South Falcone first. Uh, we're going to make it a hell of a lot easier than it, <laughs> we did in the previous level. I mean, it, I know it looked a little bit fun, funky with uh, me throwing the explosive like that, like I did in the previous level. But uh, you can do exactly the same thing I did in this level uh, if you want to get that nice and easily done. So we're going to wait for that woman to walk past us. Then once, we, once we've done that, we're going to drop the remote explosive out of our uh, inventory, just like we did there. Make sure you drop it right in the middle of the pathway. And it will uh, blow up the scooter that's next to it, and it will kill him for an accident kill. Here's our second target, and we're going to kill him with a uh, with a rubber duck. And we're going to use that scooter there with the red uh, red scooter, red for red. We're just going to wait for everyone to get out of the panic mode and everyone to carry on with their normal chain of events. So everyone's going to go back to normal now. And once this fella to the left is going to be farther enough up the up the hill, that's when we're going to throw it just behind the scooter. Now this target actually approaches this kind of at a weird angle, so you need to watch out for this. He, he will circle around, and you need to time this explosion just right, uh, just before he gets exploded by the actual duck itself. So just about halfway is when you want to push that plunger and uh, kill him. Because the, what the robot duck is doing is exploding the scooter, and the scooter is killing him for an accident kill. If you do it too late, the, the robot duck itself will kill the target. So you need to make sure you don't do it too late when you actually uh, attempt that explosion. But that will take care of the Son Assassin Raisin for level two, and then we can go ahead and move on to level three. Now for level 3 we're going to bring our breach charge this one and a remote explosive duck and we're going to start in the church morgue area and we're going to again use any suit you want to choose from and any pistol. So for this one uh, what they've actually done is removed the scooters that are next to Sal Falcone so we can no longer kill him that way so that's what they changed for this and we're not allowed to pass any civilian, pacify any civilians or kill any civilians otherwise this mission failed. So what you want to do is go up to this door and then go into your inventory and drop a breach charge right on your inventory, activate it, and as soon as you hear the click on the activation of the uh, uh, remote breach shard, immediately select your rubber duck. What I'll do is immediately put your breach charge immediately away, and it will select your rubber duck a lot faster than you would if you would actually did it manually. So once you come up this road with the, with the fire extinguisher, we're just going to drop it halfway down, and then we're going to kill this target first, just like the same way we did in the previous level. Exactly the same way, we're just going to throw the rubber duck behind the scooter like that. And uh, he's going to get killed in exactly the same way. Again, you just got to time it right. He will circle around once again, just like this. And again, you've got to time it just perfectly. And that will kill him for an accident kill. So we're going to go head back down the hill. and go and grab the uh, the fire extinguisher. I'm going to take out the uh, South Falcone with this fire extinguisher. So he will uh, most likely be in random locations. Because again, 
this with this problem with this escalation is um, it's very very random in regards to enemy positions and NPC positions. So you just need to be aware of uh, what everyone is, where everyone is on the map. So make sure uh, South Falcone is is completely clear of any enemies near him, and then uh, drop the breach charge out of your inventory with the fire extinguisher in hand, and then explode it, and you'll get the final accident kill uh, for this one. So we can just head to any exit you want to choose from. And that will complete this uh, level 3 with the Silent Assassin Rating. So if you were a little bit confused about what I just did there, so make sure you have your fire extinguisher in hand. Uh, once you go up to the target, we're going to need to go go into your inventory. And uh, then select your, to just basically just highlight your uh, breach charge in your inventory. And then select the, dr uh, select the drop item button. And it will drop the breach charge and the fire extinguisher at the same time. And then you can explode it. And that will uh, obviously kill him with a fire extinguisher, and that will be the uh, silent assassin rating for you achieved. So level four is when everything starts to change. So when you want to bring your remote breach charge, your Krugermeyer, your remote explosive dog, I'm going to start again in the church morgue. For this one, um, a few of the civilian NPCs can see through all disguises and see through all of 47 suits. This what makes it. This is what makes it random and complicated to actually do. So I'm going to give you a guide for this rather than a straight up walkthrough because it is literally impossible to give you a straight up walkthrough. But for the first part, I'm going to do the same thing as we did in the previous level. Drop the bridge charge out of your inventory. Soon as you click it, uh, immediately select your uh, your rubber duck. And then go inside the room, grab the fire extinguisher, watch out for that NPC that's on the corner. He can see through this disguise that you're wearing, which is the suit. And uh, once he walks away, we can go forward and uh, sabotage the scooter that's just right there in front of us. So for this first part of this, this is a straight up walkthrough, but for the rest of it, it is kind of like a guide for you guys. So we want to shoot the back of it there, so you'll hear a leaking noise. And that will basically be all the, uh, the gasoline being leaked on all of the floor. The target is going to come down this hill in a moment, and he's going to hum down this alleyway. We're going to hide behind the sign to our right, and then once he goes past this scooter, we're going to shoot the puddle, and it's going to explode the scooter, and that will kill him for an accident kill. And then we can go ahead and move on to our second target. Now, the pre the, when you actually explode this scooter right here, there's going to be two NPCs to your right alley, and there's going to be one NPC to your left. They're both, all three of those people can see through your disguise. Now, after the explosion is taken care of, they run to random locations. You want to make sure they are as far away from you as possible so you can get past them. Because we are ultimately heading to the same place, so which route you choose is completely up to you. Whichever is the clearest, but for this one, these two women are relatively close to the right of the road. Uh, so, And then they, you look at the guy to the left here. He should be crouched down. Now he will always look right after he, after you come up to this section here. So choose whichever route you feel comfortable with. Whichever the, uh, route the NPCs uh, give you the easiest route. Now once you get to this position. We're just going to drop that uh, fire extinguisher right there. And the target is going to be walking into this path. Watch out for your mini map. And you'll see him walking towards it. Shoot it once, once he's relatively close to it, and then let it explode. That will kill him for the second accident kill. The third one is going to be a cell Falcon. We're going to need to kill him as well with an accident kill. So what we're actually going to do is wait for him to come out of panic mode, and then make a phone call to Francesca DeSantis. And then once he does that, he will make his way to the same location, and that's when we're going to take him out on the way. So for this part, you just need to be a little bit patient. Again, he's going into a bit of a panic mode, and because uh, he's a, it's the NPC, the AI, it's random where he, where he goes, but stay relatively near him, and he will eventually make that phone call to Francesca. And once he does, he will always follow the same route to uh, where he's going to go. He's ultimately going to go end up end up at the well uh, that's near the church morgue area. But we're actually going to take him out on the way there. Now, the kill that I'm about to do, the opportunity itself may not arise for you. And if it doesn't work for you in this uh, this opportunity, then I advise you to watch my level 5 video and see what I did there. And you'll uh, be able to nail this uh, 
Son Assassin for this one as well, but it's a little bit easier actually. But if the opportunity arises for you just as just like it did for me in this video, then by all means take it. So there he is making his phone call to uh, Francesca. So once he stops talking crap, he's going to start walking away, and that's when we're going to intercept him on the way there. He's going to head down the alleyway to the left. Now, if the alleyway on to just over here is completely clear for you, you can take this opportunity and take him out now. So what you want to do is just shoot the back there like that, and that's going to leak the fuel on the floor. So you want to shoot it and explode it and it will kill him for an accident kill. Now if that opportunity didn't arise for you, I advise you just, like I said, follow my strategy uh, for level 5 and you should be able to uh, nail that uh, son assassin accident kill for that particular target. So once you've actually killed him, we're going to head straight to the exit. We're going to actually take this uh, the car exit over here and that will complete this level. But like I said, the, the NPCs are random where they actually run when they panic. So again, you just have to use your common sense, use a, use your bit of your own knowledge, and work out a way around them. But ultimately, we went to the same spots and, and we went to the same locations to kill both targets. So that will take care of the Silent Assassin rating for level 4, which was an absolute nightmare, by the way. <laughs> Took a long time to figure that out. I mean, even in fact, if you look at the leaderboards, not many people even achieved that. So now we can move on to level 5. Now for level 5 we're going to bring our remote breach charge once more, remote explosive duck once more and our Kruger Mire. I'm going to start again in the church morgue area. This time we need to take out two targets with the bodyguard disguise. So once we've started up in the morgue area we're going to pull out our remote explosive duck and throw it uh, just as we open the door just like that to create a distraction for the bodyguard that's outside. We're just going to get behind this coffin just right here and wait for him to turn around and then we're going to subdue the bodyguard watch out for that punch glitch guys and then uh, once we've done that we're going to take his disguise and then drag his body in the room that's just next to us and there's going to be like a little freezer in there you just want to dump his body in there now once we've done that we're going to go ahead and do what we did in the previous level the only real difference really is we're using a different disguise and it does make it a little bit awkward uh, because we have to go and retrieve our suit to kill Falcone, uh, Falcone at the end. So we're going to uh, just make sure you have your breach charge in your hand. You are, you are allowed to be visible for this. So you drop it on the floor, blow open the door and then go and grab the fire extinguisher just like we did in the previous level. Obviously it's a lot more easier to breach now because we're in a bodyguard disguise. So it's going to drop the fire extinguisher on the floor there for now. And then shoot the back of the scooter so it leaks fuel on the floor once more. And again, we're just taking, uh, taking out the target exactly the same way as we did in the previous level. Uh, it's very simple. You just need to wait for him to come across. And the same rules apply, guys. So, like I said, there's two women on the right, uh, right alleyway, just where that gentleman is, the target is. And just behind us, there'll be the same guy, the same NPC. You see the like, a white dot on the map just, just then. Uh, he's the only person that can see through your disguise. So, the safer route tends to be the left side. But if the right side seems more clearer than the left, then go ahead and go for the right route. But ultimately, we're going to the same place. So as you said, I'm just going to scan left and scan right. Use my instinct. They're running to the right. The guy is crouched over there and he's looking away, so that's the best opportunity to take. So I'm going to head the left route. And again, he will always turn right. So once we've headed up this section, we're going to do the same thing as we did in the previous level. Drop the fire extinguisher in the middle there. And then we're going to pull out our Kruger Meyer and shoot it when the target is relatively close to it. So once you've done that, we're going to do the same thing again as we did in the previous level. Wait for Falcone to have his phone call conversation with uh, Francesca DeSantis. It does take a while because, you know, they're going to panic mode and all that kind of good stuff. But like I said, because he's in a panic mode and he goes he goes into random locations and he has a different kind of AI when he's all in panic mode, 
Uh, you need to stay relatively close to him because uh, otherwise he probably won't make the. I mean, I'm not. I'm not completely sure on this. Don't uh, you know? Set this in stone. But so I'm pretty sure that uh, he doesn't tend to make the phone call conversation. At least it's delayed if you're not near him when he's actually uh, making that call. So uh, for some reason he goes over here in this location. I'm not completely sure where he's going. But you need to watch out for all the NPCs. The white dots above everyone's head. They can all see through your disguise. So you need to watch out for those guys. The only difference to, between these guys and the normal guards that can see through your disguise is these particular NPCs see through you very, very, very slowly and slightly. So the AI is kind of dumbed down when it comes to that, so you can be relatively loose when it comes to running past these people, as long as you're fast. Like, just like it is, did there, as it does proved. Like I said, the AI is kind of a bit, uh, a bit weird when it comes to this um, kind of AI, but you need to avoid all these white dots on this map. But ultimately, we need to try and get relatively close to the target. It does become a little bit tricky, like I said, but you need to use your own common sense to make sure you avoid all these little white dots. I mean, the, the, guard, the target does actually tend to come down this alleyway as well. I mean, you could use the bike here for an accident kill, but I thought it was a little bit risky in shooting that there because of the two people to the right. So I thought I'd take the, uh, the, safe, the safest and easiest option and just uh, be a little bit more patient. Again, we need to go and retrieve our suit now, so that's what we're that's what we're waiting for. We're actually going to head back to the morgue, but we need to wait for all these people with the white dots to get past us first before we head down. Just be careful, just be safe. You don't need to rush or anything like that. Just remember, so uh, Falcone, he can also see through your disguise. He is hostile to you, so you need to watch out for him as well. So now he's made his phone call to Francesca DeSantis. Uh, we need to get a move on, so we need to go and grab our suit pretty quickly. So he's heading down the alleyway now, so he's going to get into position very shortly. Watch out for the two bodyguards there by the steps as well. They can also see through this disguise, so you just need to watch out for them too. So we're just going back into the church morgue area. Watch out for the camera at your top left as well. There's a camera just above the door to your left, so you just need to watch out for that one. And then make sure you put on your disguise, which is your original suit. Because we need to take out this target with this suit, otherwise it will not work. So he is actually heading towards that well on the left, so we are going to get another fire extinguisher. And the nearest fire extinguisher near here is um, in the kitchen, the pantry area of the kitchen that is. Uh, do you know where all the, uh, the out of date spaghetti tins are? That's where we're going to need to go and get the fire extinguisher. So we have to climb all the way up this pipe and then edge along the ledge that's by the window. And then we can go and grab our fire extinguisher and take out the target with a final accident kill. I did try to take him out with the car, that's the reason why I brought the remote explosive duck. But for some reason on this particular escalation, that particular kill does not work. It doesn't actually kill him, even if he's right next to the car, even if you explode it completely, it just he will not die. It's, it's kind of very strange. I'm not sure if it's a bug or whatever, or maybe that's just the way it is. But this is the reason why I went to go and do the take this uh, opportunity, and it does actually turn out to be quite easy in the end because there's no one to uh, there's no one to ruin the actual uh, way of doing this. So once we've grabbed the fire extinguisher, we're going to slide all the way back down the pipe, go all the way back to where the target is. He should be on his phone there right now, uh, having a phone call conversation by the well. Again, you just need to watch out for him because he, again, he can still see, still see through your suit. He is a he is an enforcer after all. And there's still all these white dots around here as well. They can still see through your suit. So we're just going to get behind him as we do this. So again, we're doing the same techniques we did before. Go in your inventory, highlight the breach charge, and then drop it out of your uh, inventory menu. Uh, on on for PS4, it's the triangle button. I'm not completely sure what it's mapped to on the PC or the Xbox, but it's the drop item button. And then we're going to activate it straight away, and that will kill him for an accident kill. Then we can head to the harbor and take the boat exit and complete this uh, this very punishing, unforgiving escalation. But that's the Lindon uh, gyration escalation, level 1 to 5, so hopefully this has helped you out. Subscribe here if you are new to the, uh, to the channel for more guides and walkthroughs and all the videos and elusive targets and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I mean, not even many people have completed that, it's crazy. But I'll see you guys in the next video, yeah? Cheers. We finally did this. Wow.